Hey everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the shop. Today we're finishing off our floor system with a little step and trim. Let's get to work. All the pieces you see here today are exactly what comes in the trim set that you're gonna order at home. The one difference being ours has an AVC rig logo because all the vans we build here at the shop are branded AVC. So let's grab that rear trim and we'll run to the back of the van and get started. So we're getting started here at the back of the van. And before I install this, I wanted to point out with the screws that we're going to be using, we're using a three quarter inch wood screw with a modified truss head. It's the same kind of screw that we use for our wall kit. So we're just gonna take our rear piece of trim. I'm gonna set it in place. Make sure we're centered. We do give you a little bit of room side to side. Then I like to start with my corners. There's already cutouts here in the trim. So we're gonna use one of those pre cutout holes, put our screw in the middle, give our trim nice tight pressure to the back of the vehicle and install. We're gonna do the same thing here in the middle. Pressure towards the back of the vehicle. Since we're here at the back of the vehicle, it's also a good time to place the 3D printed cap that covers your spare tire drop. These are 3D printed right here in Colorado. So we cut the hole in our flooring and that just snaps in. You'll notice too, there's a little tab right here. You can use your Ford Transit key that inserts into that tab and we can pop that out if we need to drop our spare tire. Back up here at the side door, we're gonna take our step we're gonna drop that into place, but first take our grip tape and we're gonna set that aside. First, we're going to go ahead and drop in our step. We're just gonna dry fit this for now. Make sure everything looks good. Okay, liking that. We wanna make sure this front lip is tight to the Ford. So we're just gonna make sure it's pushed in nice and tight to the vehicle and looks like fitment is great. We do have a slight gap between our flooring and the front of the step. And that's just to allow a little bit of movement of that floor, depending on how you installed it in your van. With our step in place, we're gonna take our step side trim. We're gonna fit that in. Before we screw this trim into place, let's just make sure it's tight towards the back of the vehicle. Now for that final front piece of trim, I wanted to point out a couple of things before we install. One is we have a little scallop cutouts here that's gonna allow our pre-wires that might be running under the front of the floor to escape this trim and not get pinched. The other is we wanna keep in mind this little angle here and we want a nice tight fit when we install that trim for the final space at the front. So I'm gonna make sure all my wires are tucked underneath, looking good, and they're popping out in the space that I want them to. These are the pre-wires for our S-bar heater. And we're gonna start here at that front corner. To lock our step into place, we're just gonna put a couple of self-tappers into the tread of the stair. Before we install our grip tape, we're gonna go ahead and fold back that very back inch we're gonna use that as what we call a hinge. Then we can float our grip tape into place. Make sure we like its position. And starting at the center, working our way towards the outside. Just lightly stick this down. And if it looks like it's in a good spot, peel the rest of the backer off and apply the grip tape in place. We always give you two pieces of grip tape just in case you mess one up or if it wears out over time, you have an extra. With that grip tape installed, this step is literally complete. Keep in mind, we do offer this step and trim as a complete set on our website. So whether or not you do our complete floor system or you just wanna give your DIY floor that professional touch, go ahead and check out abcrig.com and you can find a link there. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so others can find it. And if you wanna support our channel, please subscribe. We'll see you on the next project. Ah.